guys, um, my name is Amanda Graves. Welcome to my tattoo YouTube channel. Today we are doing a collaboration once again. So for those of you who didn't see my first um, collaboration piece, that is the episode before this. Today I'm doing one with Xanthian Moon, who is about to move to North Carolina to tattoo at Mimic Tattoo. She's amazing, super talented. If you guys have questions, please leave them in the comments. We're gonna try to go through and label what needle sizes we're using, what voltage we're using, what machines we're using, inks, all that stuff. So please let us know your questions, and as always, please subscribe. This is what we're doing today, me and Xanthian. It's gonna be fun. Let's go stencil it. I'm gonna pop this in here. Pop this in here. Stenciling, stenciling, stenciling. That's money. Cutie patootie. I just did a picture of my husband. He was like, oh, you know, you don't know what you're getting kind of thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sure it'll be fine. But he was like, oh my God, it's perfect for you. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that is a common thing for yeah. people that get tattooed a lot. They're like, I'll get whatever. Okay, so this might seem excessive, but I like to like map it out first. Do, what, do whatever you do. I'd like, I'd like to see what other people do. Me too. I learned this from someone else at a different shop. And then I was like, oh my god, let me stand up straight. Perfect. Because then that way you can like really map out where it needs to go. And then not stress so much about, oh my god, I touched this on my tattoo. Right. I like the tape method. It helps a lot. You want to get the stencil peel? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Get to bend this one a little bit more as like a prop kind of. If you need to stretch it all, let me know because um, honestly, when you get tattooed in a spot like this, just laying in that position starts to hurt your hips and your back more than the tattoo hurts. Fair enough. So if you feel like you need to stretch, do not hesitate to let us know, okay? Will do, thank you. Do you have anything on your mind for what else you want to do? Like any pieces planned or anything like that? I'm always open to more unicorns, fun stuff like that. Yeah. Um, I think something that I would really like to do is, um, so both of my grandmother recently passed away, and so I would like to do kind of like um, on the back of each arm, kind of like a cameo. Okay. Each of them. Oh yeah. But um, and then like have it surrounded by like stuff that was like special for to them. them. Yeah. Yeah. Very like, cool. Birthstones, favorite flowers. Yeah. Like one really liked sewing. One was um, like grew up on a farm and okay. you know stuff like that. So. Oh, yeah. That, so many ways to make that so pretty. Yeah. yeah. A good idea. I love that so much better than like was born this day. Oh yeah. Died this day. <laughs>
How's the glitter feel? <clears throat> Not too bad, really. Okay. I feel like most people are like, oh, I thought that was going to be worse, you know? Yeah. But I've had some people that are like, oh my fuck. Really? That's so bad. Okay. Yeah, I think it depends what kind of pain is tolerable to you. I barely, like, touch the skin when I do it. Yeah. It's also just, like, really cool to watch, honestly. It goes pretty quickly. Yeah. Like, I don't go slow with it. I just know where I need to bring it out. So it, it goes pretty fast. Sometimes it doesn't feel like it to me, but it yeah. just depends on the day. Is it just something you kind of like, like started, like stumbled on and kind of started refining kind of thing? Um, like... so I really just, I always was a fan of like the chunky glitter style like people mm -hmm. had. Like they even had like an article in Ink Magazine, like glitter tattoos or whatever. And they were like, they use like big chunky dots and it almost looked like confetti, you know, but mm -hmm. like that was the glitter style. And I always liked that and I liked adding it into my designs and um, I always thought it was awesome. And then just one day I decided to try to like refine that idea, but like with the idea and technique that I use for blending colors. So like I would, I'm like, I'm gonna take these really like fairly small dots and yeah. I'm gonna use the same colors I would in this piece, but just like overlay and blend them like I would color. Yeah. And so like that was just something that happened one day. I was doing a Sailor Moon tattoo mm -hmm. and it was like the handle of it and I wanted it to look like iridescent and I uh, did the, this method I just thought about and it worked and it looked crazy. And I was like, this is so cool. And people really liked it and kind of just like birthed this glitter child I have now. Yeah, that's awesome.